Rondo Hernandez, uh, Automotive Transportation Energy Instructor, Sure High School. Where is Sure High School? Sure High School is in Montebello, California. East Los Angeles? Uh, yes, we uh, serve um, a uh, large Hispanic community. We're roughly 93% Hispanic, and uh, the majority of our students come from the Montebello, East Los Angeles area. Uh, the students uh, participated in the bridge program where they get dual enrollment, dual registration, and dual credit with two community colleges. So through the ROP, the LA County uh, uh, Office of Education's ROP, we were able to take the students to the community colleges. They learned how to do fiberglass production. Um, we built our own molds. We built our own bodies. We built our own plugs. So it wouldn't be possible, Armando, from what I understand, if it weren't for you. Uh, well, I don't like to take the credit for that, but uh, you know, I... these kids are on their last chance. Uh, a lot of them are, yes. Um, you know, I. Some kids are have already flunked out of school. Yes, yes. In fact, uh, one of the students who's actually working on the brakes right now flunked out, yes, last year, and um, he's at a continuation school. But we still allowed him to come back and help out because he's uh, he's a great kid. He's a hard worker, and uh, I know he's going to be successful in life. So. This is the one class that they really seem to excel in. Yes, these particular kids, yes. Uh, um, my goal here isn't to test the limits of our cars. Uh, what we design, I'm sure, will be very successful. But my goal isn't to test the limits of our uh, designs. I leave that to all of the great minds at Penn State, Purdue, Berkeley, um, and all the outstanding universities across the world. My goal here is to test the limits of my students. Um, I want them to know that, you know, even though we suffer today from a lack of expectation in our communities, uh, that they need to test themselves on a regular basis. I expect a lot of them, and they need to test themselves regularly. Uh, if they can learn how to do that here, and, and this will instill in them some sort of motivation to continually test themselves in any venue, then I'll be happy. They'll be successful. Uh, complacency is something that uh, is ailing them. Uh, too many in, uh, businesses today in the industry that are willing to uh, provide a venue like this and the opportunity for these kids to showcase all of their skills. So I really have to thank Shell. Uh, I just wish there was a lot more. This is an after program for these kids. Yes, it is an after school program. That they otherwise would be on the street with. Definitely. Here have you know five, ten, as many as fifteen different teachers and advisors or counselors or uh, uh, professors here, and um, we don't. It's just me. You've actually been helping other groups stay on the on the track. Yes, in fact, India over there showed up with uh, a seatbelt that didn't meet the regulations. So um, I'd hate to think that my students would someday go to India to compete and be ignored and have to fly all the way back to the United States. So we have Gave somebody else a wheel. Uh, yes, College of the Redwoods. Uh, their group here is welcome to whatever we have. Armando, most people are trying to get out of East LA as quickly as possible. Yes. You're sticking in there with all of the kids on an after-school program. Yes. I hope we can find some help for you. Oh, uh, that would be great. Uh, thank you. Thank you.